<laughs> well, happy days, my fantastic artistic friends. Thanks for joining us today. What we've got is a nice, big, upright canvas. It's in portrait mode, and I've con completely covered the whole thing in a very thin layer of linseed oil and titanium white coated the whole thing okay I'm just going to rub off any excess paint with an old rag just like that get rid of all that excess oil what we have left up there is exactly what we want we don't want a massively slick painting but just enough so we can blend color we're going to do a nice misty painting today a nice wintry scene one that's into the grey tones, but we'll have a few specks of colour here and there. Okay, so just get rid of some of that excess oil. Right, let me show you what I've got done on the palette. So, I've taken some burnt umber and French ultramarine, and I've just mixed them to the favoured blue side, because we want a cool painting today. So, that will give us a nice grey colour, just down there like that. And I'll create a colour stream, so I'll pull it out, and I'll put some white in there. In fact, we'll grab a bit of white. And mix it into that grey and then we'll keep adding and adding and adding so we get darker and darker and darker as we come towards the viewer of the painting okay so we'll just add a bit more white I think to that okay I'm gonna take that brush that we've had just gonna beat it just to remove any excess linseed oil so this brush and I'm just gonna hit that grey color just there like that fill it up fill it up fill it up okay and we're going to start off in here and i'm just going to put in a gray kind of sky now just float it in float it in like so it's very misty where i am and very murky very foggy it snowed last night as well so we might do some snowy paint in fact we might add some snow to this i think i think we will do but before I fetch you up onto the canvas, we'll just put, throw some, some grey tones into the sky, like that. We're going to have some big trees either side and, and other things. Maybe you've seen the thumbnail, I don't know. So a little bit of grey, just like that. We're going to darken this grey off at the top. I just want it a bit paler down at the bottom there, like that. Okay, so that's very 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 light gray there so i'm just gonna grab a touch just a very small amount of the gray that we've made from the blue and the brown okay you could use black and white if you wish but i think the blue and the brown make a, a nicer gray my preference if you don't like that gray you don't go with it you know maybe you just got black and white paint on the palette so just throw in some of this and of course you can take it to the brown side which will warm it up or the blue side which will cool it down there we go like that there we go so i've just blended i've just blended the whole sky so it's darker at the top and lighter towards the horizon that's what we want in a in a oil painting a landscape so back to this color and i'm just going to dip in there and put in a touch more of the darker color okay and then we're going to put some distant foggy trees in this now i don't want them too big too soon because we can always grow them if we need to and i don't know what that looks like just yet i'm just using this this rounded brush just to create a foggy tree just there like so i love the fog because you can't really make any distinct things out you just see shapes don't you you just see shapes and then i'm just gonna make another one we're gonna have a path somewhere so i'm just gonna make another one here just like this but it, it's so foggy it just melts into the into the background i hope we can see that i can see that but the camera does silly things doesn't it sometimes and then we'll come up here and again a bit of a bigger one like that and just fill all this area in until you're happy with your trees populated this area here with uh, with the tree shapes but i don't want them all looking the same kind of tree made with the same brush so i'm populating a few areas with some evergreen so just touch on with this dagger brush okay and you don't have to touch fully on you know or create a full area you know a full trunk that's what i'm trying to say and then just put some 
some sticky out parts on on there just like that again if it's fuzzy that's perfect because it can it's misty isn't it it's misty but we'll just add some out maybe resharpen the brush every now and again like that and you can see i've put a little indication of where some sort of path's gonna go but when you get to this stage like this and you just pop it in like that just freely add some of this in you can take your blender brush just like this make sure it's dry and then just tap on just tap 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 and that'll diffuse it slightly there we go like that so i'm just taking a fan brush and just loaded it in some of this paint grab a bit of more white i think i can always go darker okay so up here so i'm just gonna hit dead on like that and then just sideways just touch 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 all the way down okay maybe flip the brush over if you run out of paint and just bring it down okay maybe make it a touch darker on on this side so I'll just grab a bit more of that that paint and then just on this side we're just going to touch 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 okay so i'm just pushing push 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 like that okay grab a blender brush and all i'm going to do is very gently just stroke over the top of it just stroke over it just like that okay again the best thing about misty murky foggy paintings is you can't really tell any detail you just get basic gists of shape and color which is which is perfect for what we want that might look like a nice snowbank just there okay just like that wipe off any excess there with the dirty colour that's on the brush, I've just basically filled up the rest of the canvas. And it's only a very pale grey colour, but it looks almost to the brown tint. I wanted it to the blue tint, but it almost looks sepia now. I've also put a little bit more dark colour at the top. I think it just needed it. I'm going to put another one of these trees in here. So, in fact, just let's grab some more of that colour, make it a little bit darker. Just like that, maybe a bit darker still. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And we're going to go right across so about there. So touch on like that. Okay. And then just touch on from the side. Like so. All the way across. And we're just going to, we're going to hide some of those trees that we painted in the background. But that's fine. That's, that's okay. I'm not too fussed about that. Okay. Like that. Look at that. That looks weird, doesn't it? That looks very weird. Okay. I'm going to grab a bit of blue. I'm going to blow this one off a little bit more. Okay, this is going to be on the cool side. Okay, we don't know where his light source is coming from yet. But we will do eventually because we're going to have a little bit of something there. Okay, and then just again, just touch on from the side. More force as we come towards the base of the tree. And you may need to just go a little bit wider like that and then just fill this part up. Okay, with a bit of paint. There, like so. Like that. And we can grab, let's go back to this brush. Just grab some of that and then just take it into the painting. Just create a few shadowy stuff. Like, like that. And just to soften all this, just Again, a very delicate brush. Just take out the tap marks just like that. And that effect looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, we don't have to work for hours on a, on a tree. And we can just let, let the canvas and the brushes do it for us. Yeah, like so. Oh, just a... Tease a few shadows in the snow before we work on the path. I want to put a little bit of a lamp light in. So I think up about here. So get a clean, get a clean lint-free tissue and just get in there and just really take off any oil that you've got up there and any paint. Okay. There might be a few stains left on the canvas, but that, that's all right. Okay, just take off anything there. And with your little blender brush. Okay, just, just tease whatever we've got 
back together. Okay, then we're going to put a little glow there. So let's get a little brush. Get a little brush. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and a touch of white. So that's cad yellow and white. I'm just going to scrub it in. Okay, just scrub it in like that. May even pale it off a little bit more. There, like so. Then let's zip that off. So let's grab a knife. Let's just zip this off. Any excess off there, like that. Okay, and then we can tease that out. We're going to blend that out. So, brush. So just a blender, and I'm just going to pull this out. Just pull out like that. Very little paint on the canvas now. And we're just going to pull in all directions just to give us a little bit of a glow. There, like that. Not too fussed about the above because we're going to put a cap on this light. The light might go across the tree. So, are we ready for it? straight across the tree like that wipe off any excess and maybe across there like that okay there right we've got this little glow i want to put a little bit of white into that so let's grab that brush wipe off any excess grab a bit more white and just put a bit of white in there really push it into the canvas uh, plenty of paint don't be stingy on paint and then get your knife and then just zip off any excess there and then once again make sure there's no dirty paint on there and then just tease that out tease that white paint out there like so so you can see I've painted a little one just off there. So I'm just going to do one here. So I've just loaded this little brush up full of the colour, the original colour that we had. And I'm just going to paint it there and pull straight down. Straight down. And if it looks a bit crooked, I can't tell from where I'm stood. But if it looks a bit crooked, that's because it's an old thing. All right, the ground might have moved. Might be an hundred year old lamp. Okay, so there we go. So put that in there. All right, it's gonna sit about there. Right, let's get the liner brush. Now I haven't thinned down any of this paint, but we're just gonna put a couple of dots under there like that. Okay, like so. And we want a cap on it, so let's get the cap right about there, I think. Oh, got to hold my breath while I'm doing this. Like that, okay. And then we want a little bit of something, in fact, we'll make it a little there. We want where the lamp light or would rest his ladders across there like so now you could do this with a palette knife if you want but i've got a little bit more control with a with a brush i am going to switch to the knife because it's going to give me nice straight edges so very little paint right on the edge of the knife and I'm just going to touch on, put the heel on first and then just push up there. A bit more paint and we'll go on this side, same angle. There. Really is hold your breath time. And we'll put this one there like that. Back to the liner brush now, and I'm just going to neaten off all this. So I want that across there, and then up there. 
Like that, the center will be about here. And it will work down pretty much like that. Okay, we'll fill this in. Paint over the yellow. And then we'll fill this in as well. Like so. <laughs> I've got my feet on a radiator just down here. It really is cold. So, anyway, that's my problem, not yours. We're going to paint a nice little fence. We need something to balance it off on this side. So, we need a fence. So, where the painting is fairly dry, I'm just going to put on the liner brush just a couple of little lines. Just some fence posts just around this path. Okay, so normal rules apply, so that goes behind that bush. It's tighter as we go away and, and smaller and larger as we come towards us, if that makes any sense at all. Larger and wider apart, so we'll want one there as well. Okay, we might put a fence on the other side, I don't know yet. And I'm going to darken the colour off and I'm going to crouch down so I'll get a good view of what I'm, where I'm painting this. Just down there. Fences, fence posts, whatever. Make good, good. The, the guide your eye into the painting, really. The guide your eye. So let's got to get it right, haven't we? I'm going to come down here. So again further apart further apart now don't worry if they're not straight okay these are old posts out in the out in the wild and a bit more on this one so we'll go about here now make it a bit thicker down there like that maybe a bit fatter as well I haven't thinned these paints down. I'm just putting it on as it is. There, like so. And we'll have some more. So we'll have a bigger one there, like so. I've got a little plan. I need a little friend in this one. And then we'll just go into that pure colour and just pull it down. Could do it with a bigger brush, this actually, but it is what it is. Um, do we want anything off here? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Right. All I'm going to do now is just tone some of the sides of these these posts with a bit of a darker colour. So I'm just going to grab a bit more of the blue, I think. A bit more of the blue. Put it into that black. And then the sides will go on this one first. And that blue will act like a nice shadowy colour on to the fence posts and do the same for the rest big lumps of paint now i'm just going to put some snow caps on some of these little well all of them so I'll just put a bit of snow on some of these yeah, like that on these posts looks like you're walking to me it looks like you're walking downhill but you need a lot of paint, big blob of paint. And paint with the blob of paint rather than the brush. Put it down there as well. I'm just going to grab an old, well, it's got some paint on it, but it's hardly got any on. I'm just going to grab some of this and then just pull it, pull it and shape the path. Okay, we're going to come back up here and put some, some, little grasses and things around these fence posts but we just want to set them into the painting and of course they're going to have a bit of shadow behind the painting uh, behind, behind the post as well so just do that take off all the finger marks just blend them in just blend them in like so shape the path like that i know you shouldn't get yellow snow however 
and there's going to be some yellow light reflecting from the lamp down here i'm sure of it so i'm just going to put a little bit of yellow down here not much very little paint on the brush but just put in a little bit because we're going to get some reflections at that out here just just using the filbert brush like a knife and i'm just picking up plenty of paint and i'm just gonna just plow some on onto the path there and i want it really thick towards us right. very little paint up here lots of paint down in the bottom bit more there like so like a nice snow bank there like that and cos let's just grab a little bit of blue not much just a bit of blue and a bit of white not much don't want too much don't want it too strong but we're going to put a little bit of shadowy snowy color down here so we'll just put a little bit just in here very little up here we can get a bit stronger as we come closer to us really put it on as we come further into the painting down here i think i want to paint my little friend little robin just on this post here so all we'll do is put a little bit of burnt umber just a little bit of a blob just like that little tail there like so wipe off the excess a little bit of bright red down here and put a little robin red breast just there like that Okay, let's make some snow. So I've mixed up a, uh, a lot of titanium white linseed oil and a very tiny touch of that, that grey colour. I don't want it brilliant white. Not on this painting. And look, it's running off, off the palette. So plenty in the fan brush. Okay, set the palette down. Get a palette knife. And I'm just going to flick all over the canvas just some specks of snow so go everywhere on this and it'll look like a nice little snowfall there we go looking amazing already a few more specks of snow up there and i think we've got a finished festive feel to this painting if you'll give this one a go please tag me in a photograph i'd love to see your work if you've enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not done so already. Please remember we've got memberships on the channel. And leave me a nice big comment. Until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.